Yo, yo, what the heck is going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are having an amazing day. Okay, absolutely insane thing just happened right now, guys. Any of you guys that watch my brother Stromedy's channel or any of the other Prime Capital members in general, you guys then may be familiar with the dark web. But in case you guys are not, the dark web is basically the secret site that contains ancient magical and historical items guys that you can purchase and these items can do absolutely crazy things and one of these items guys are potions and these potions can vary from like crazy things as you guys may have seen on my brother's channel like i said things like the rage potion the speed potion the potion of life but so what i went and did guys is i actually ordered one of these potions and that potion is called the potion of haunting and guys so that potion actually just came i just got it in the mail just now like a few seconds ago and i actually didn't know at first that it was the potion so i actually went ahead and i opened it but i have not yet read it came with it looks like some sort of instructions right here so I'll read you guys those instructions, but yeah, of course then we did get the potion I'll show you guys right here. Look at this thing. This thing looks absolutely Insane holy crap guys. Oh my god. Okay, so on the site if you guys may know they don't expose anything on the site They just have like potion of haunting and there's nothing else to it So I guess that's to like keep everything secret and stuff but i did get what looks to be instructions like i said right here so i'm gonna go ahead and read that because i'm not sure really what this potion actually does or how to even use it but it looked crazy so i went ahead and ordered it so it says right here guys hello recipient inside of the special package made directly from the dark web you should have received the daunting potion of haunting yes we did guys as i just showed you this potion is not to be taken lightly and must be handled with care as it is if it is used improperly can be dangerous to its area of uses holy crap the instructions for the potion of haunting include minimizing use for light paranormal activities like paranormal activities whereas maximizing use for maximum intensity of paranormal activities holy crap okay so do you think this guy this actually works guys like do you think spraying this potion will actually do this like it has to obviously because as you guys see on my brother's channel, it worked all the potions they worked. So what this means is the more you spray the potion, the more you open the doors for more extreme levels of haunting. Holy crap. The potion of haunting comes into effect only at 3 a.m. Okay, that makes sense, guys, because for any of you guys that don't know, like ghosts are supposed like ghosts are said to come out and be present and at 3 a.m so that makes sense that this would be only working at 3 a.m um so yeah the potion of haunting comes into effect at 3 a.m the night of when the potion is used duration of the potion varies to its uses but doesn't last more than one night okay so guys what we learned from that is when you use the potion it only works for one night and depending on how much we actually spray the potion that's how like severe the paranormal activities are said to be. So of course guys, I did not buy this for myself. No freaking way I wanna scare myself. Who would wanna do that? But guys, we are gonna use this on Stromedy. So we are gonna go to his house right now. It's about 5 p.m. right now, so it should be getting dark about now. We're gonna go set up there and yeah, we're gonna use this on Stromedy. Probably gonna use it in his room because that's of course where he sleeps and this potion comes into effect at 3 a.m. So it will work when he is sleeping. So we of course are gonna use it in his room. But yeah, if you guys did not know, like tomorrow he leaves for LA. So this is gonna be la his last night in Canada. So he will not forget this one, guys. This is gonna be absolutely insane. So yeah, that's the plan. We're gonna go to his house right now. Holy crap, this is gonna be absolutely insane. We're gonna use this on Stromedy tonight. Okay, guys, I'll see you guys at his house, okay. All right, guys, we are now here in Kyle's room. I got the potion of haunting right here with me. As you guys can see, you guys are set up right now on top of his fridge, which overlooks his entire room. So you guys will be able to see this whole room. If anything happened at 3 a.m., you guys will see it from here. Uh, I got another camera set up in the washroom in case anything happens there because I will be spraying this in both the room here and his washroom, guys. So I'm going to go. I'll just confirm that camera right now. I'm going to run over there. Hi guys, hi. So yeah, if you guys remember on the instructions, it said that in order to maximize the most amount of paranormal activity, once you spray this potion, you need to spray it a ton of times. But guys, we don't wanna create, we don't know what that max level is. It didn't say anything about that. 
so we don't want to overdo it because we don't want to bring anything into this room that like could be really dangerous guys so we're not going to do that we're not going to over spray it i'm just going to go like the bare minimum which i think will give like enough scare to kyle but i don't want to overdo it like i said because guys we do not know anything about this potion as you guys saw in the instructions it was not very specific so we're gonna spray it, i think like four times in this room and the washroom guys but yeah absolutely nobody is here as i said guys kyle is not here right now he's out with yana doing something uh for new year's Eve. i will be seeing him later though tonight for the ball drop at my house guys we are having a little celebration so i will be seeing him there he has no idea this is going on right now but i am assuming he will be back here to sleep before he leaves guys he is leaving tomorrow for los angeles and he has a very early flight so i can imagine he will not want to stay out too late and he will be back here to sleep so this should work guys at 3 a.m as i said but guys it is complete ghost town in here as i said like guys, i could do anything i want right now you'll never know Woo! oh crap almost knocked over his light but yeah guys we're gonna get right to this let's get to it we're gonna spray this thing right now i'll show you guys we're gonna go around and we're just gonna spray. So four times, as I said, in each room. Let's see it, one there, two there, three, four, just to evenly distribute it throughout the room. Oh, oh, I, I couldn't smell it before, guys, cause like I would have to spray, no way I was spraying it in my house. But guys, it smells like a, kind of like an old wood. Like, you guys know that smell when you go into like a, like an old cabin or something in the woods. Like it, it kind of smells like that. It smells really like, uh, like haunt fully, guys. Okay, 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 guys. We are now in the washroom. I got the potion here with me again. So we are now gonna spray it four times in here, guys. Okay. So again, I'm gonna evenly distribute it. Spray one. That's one. Or that was two, three, four. Okay, guys, we're good now. So I'm gonna go home now. And uh, yeah, if anything guys, happens, guys, so be at 3 a.m. You guys are just gonna have to take my word for it. I won't be able to show you any time right now. Uh, it's about like seven or something. Uh, so yeah, if anything happens, it will be at 3 a.m. guys, okay. Oh, even if Kyle's not here, even if he doesn't show up, things should still happen, so you guys will see that. And then uh, maybe I can show him and he'll be creeped out about that. So okay, guys, we're gonna go now. Yeah, okay. Oh my god, god that's not. We're now leaving, guys. See ya. I'll be back here tomorrow to pick up the footage. So yeah, okay, guys. Bye, guys. Goo goo gaga. Heck. 
Guys, this is a prank. This is not funny. I'm trying to sleep. Come on. How the hell did that freaking close? Oh my god. What the hell? Yo, yo, how is that moving? What the hell? How the hell did that just move? Guys! Guys, is anyone home? This house is haunted! What the? Hi, Kyle? What the hell? Who's doing this? What the hell is going on in here? Guys! Whoa! How the hell did that just turn on? Welcome back to the channel. Guys, I am filming this right now because if you guys remember a couple of videos ago, I ordered my first potion from the dark web. You guys will remember I ordered the haunting potion. And if you guys saw, we actually used that potion on my brother Stromedy at 3 a.m. And you guys will not believe what happened. The potion actually worked. He got completely haunted. Went missing after that for about a day. This happened on New Year's Eve and he actually had a flight to go to LA the next day, but he never showed up for his flight. Everyone was worried about him and no one could find him anywhere. But luckily, we were able to track him down, so all good now. But I actually went ahead and I ordered a couple more potions because that was absolutely insane. And so I just got a message about a few minutes ago saying that my potion package is arriving. So I'll show you guys that right now. Look, it was sent by an unknown name. I don't know if you guys can see that. Look at that, guys. Right there, you can see it. Your package is arriving. Now, I actually don't know which potions I ordered because I ordered the mystery box, guys, on the dark web. So we will see which potions we get in just a couple of minutes. Like I said, I just got the message that the package is arriving. Yo, okay, I just heard the bell ring, guys. Okay, that means our package is here. So I'm gonna bring you guys with me. We're gonna go get our package. Oh my God, guys, this is absolutely insane. I'm so excited for this. You guys saw the last one it actually worked. And again, I don't know what's in the box. Why is he ringing it again? Okay, I'm coming, I'm coming, relax. Oh my gosh. All right. Yo, what the heck? What? what the hell was that? You guys saw that guy? Why was he dressed like that? Why was he dressed like that? What the heck? Yo, yo. Yo, 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 what the hell is that? I'm not going to freaking, no way. What the hell is that, guys? Is that like a dark lore or something? Why is my... Yo, he keeps ringing the door. Yo. What the hell? Guys, I'm the only one here right now. I can't be dealing with this. Yo, who are you? Your package. My package? 
What? Why are you delivering this package? Yo! Hello? What the frick is this, guys? Yo, you're crazy, man. Yo, what the heck? Close the freaking door. Close the door. Guys, freaking crazy. What the heck? Yo, that was absolutely insane, guys. Okay, I gotta make sure everything's locked. That guy's crazy. It could be crazy. Make sure all the doors are locked, man. Dude. The heck? Yo, yo, what the hell is right there? Can you guys see that light? Oh, God. Oh, oh, oh. What the hell is that flashlight? Where the hell is this? Dude, what the frick is this? That guy just disappeared. He just disappeared, guys. Okay, oh my God. What the hell? Guys, I, I, I can't deal with this kind of stuff. I don't like this kind of stuff. I'm all by myself right now in this house. Oh my God. Okay, where's the package? What the hell? The guy just disappeared. He just disappeared. <sighs> okay, we got the package. <sighs> Alright guys, so I got the package right here. I have you guys set up just in front of me. Look how like scary this thing looks. Like it does not look like it's from around here. We're gonna open this thing right now. Uh, and we do not know what's in the package. It's a mystery package. I ordered it off the dark web. So we're gonna go get this thing open right now. Uh, I gotta find some scissors or something. Okay, we're got right here. Alright, okay, let's open this thing. Oh my god. We don't know how to just like that. Okay. Again, I'm all alone here right now. I don't know what's in the box. So we'll see right now. What the hell? Dude, there's two envelopes in here. You guys remember my last one, the haunting one? The dark ring ring thing just came to my door. It was just, the package was right there. There's a normal package. Why is it like this? Like, what the heck? We're gonna take these both out. I'll show you guys right now. They're also all dark and stuff. Whoa, there's dark web on it. Look at this. I don't know if you guys can see that. It says dark web. Right there. This is no joke, guys. I'm not playing around with this. Okay, okay. We're gonna set this thing aside over here. Okay, so we got two envelopes here. So we're gonna open, I guess we'll just open up the first one. They're already like open, what the heck? And then, uh, oh my gosh. Okay, so we got a potion right here. Holy, it's so much smaller than the other one. What the heck? Look at this, guys. Oh, it looks so, it's like clear. It's. It's not like swishy or anything. It's not like a, it looks like a really hard like liquid or something. Like a gel. Oh my gosh, okay, that's the first one. Wait a second, it came with a note too. Oh my god, okay, okay. Hello recipient, inside this package lies the daunting potion of life. Potion of life? What the heck? Which if used on an object will bring it to life. The behaviors and actions of the living object once brought to life according to other users are also known to vary from bad to good. What? Vary from bad to good? Why would I want to use this then? Oh my god, okay. In addition, use this potion with extreme caution and extreme danger warning. Oh my god, guys, look at these, look at these like letters too. Look how like, they're like burnt and stuff. And like, all old, like, like ancient. This other one also says, hello recipient in the package, you should have received the potion of enlargement. Potion of enlargement? which when used on an object will increase its size by a significant amount. All right, so, oh, it's got it right here. A potion's right here. This is the potion of enlargement, guys. Right here, you can see it's more, this one's more like liquidy. It's like orange. What's up? I smell these. That one doesn't really smell like anything. This one kind of sounds, smells like old wood or something. Okay, so we got our potions here. Now, potion of life and potion of enlargement. So. I don't know what to use that, like, does it mean it can just bring anything to life or something? Like, I don't know what to use it on. But it did say also, it could be very bad or good, so. Guys, we don't know what we're gonna get. Like, we can bring something alive and it could just completely, it could, it could just kill me. Like, I, why would I want to bring anything alive that's gonna kill me? Okay, well, one thing I can think of is I do have Lego figures in my room, so I'm gonna go get those, and uh, if this actually works, like, I guess we'll bring the Lego Man alive, like, to life. We'll bring the Lego Man to life. So, we'll go get a Lego Man right now, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. We have the Lego figure right here, so we're gonna place it right here. Place the Lego guy there. If this actually works, like, oh my god, I don't even know what to do. All right, so we're gonna, like, are we supposed to use both of them at the same time? I remember Stromity doing one of these with like a Lego guy. He had like a, this light potion and he used it on a Lego guy and it actually like supposedly worked. So we're gonna find out for ourselves here right now. We're gonna use life potion on the Lego figure. I don't really even know how much I'm supposed to put on this, but we're gonna do it anyway. 
Oh my god, it's like so hard to come out. Alright, 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 okay, okay. I think that's enough. So put the that's the light potion we just put on guys. Now we're gonna put the potion of enlargement on the Lego figure. So there we go, we got that on now. Okay, oh my god, okay. Yo guys, really quick though, this potion of enlargement, like I was just thinking, what if I use this on like a burger or a pizza? Like imagine how big I can make the pizza or burger. Dude, I wouldn't have to go to the grocery store ever again. I could just enlarge every time. So I might do that in another video, so stay tuned for that one. Definitely gonna keep both these potions. I don't think this is actually gonna work, to be honest. Like there's no way this Lego figure is gonna come alive. Like what? No way, no way. Okay, but just in case, we're gonna go grab my other camera. Uh, like I said, I don't think anything's gonna happen, but if anything does happen, I go, you guys will see that camera. Okay, I'm gonna go right now and get the other camera. I'll be back in a second, guys. You guys know what that means? That, you know what? Oh my god, go. Guys, he's literally destroying the kitchen. He's destroying the kitchen. What are you doing now? Heck. He's opening the cabinets, guys. What is he looking for? He's freaking slamming them. He's taking Cheerios. He's shaking the Cheerios. What the, he likes Cheerios or
Legos? Why are the Legos there? Is that Legos? Say something or not, but guys, he's a bad Lego. Oh, oh my god! Oh my god! What's he doing now? Oh my god! Gotta get out of here! I don't like being here. Oh my god! God, he just took the table. Why did he just take the table? Guys, this is absolutely insane. I cannot believe this is actually happening right now. There's literally a Lego man, live Lego man. He's freaking huge in the kitchen of Stromley's house right now. Guys, nobody is here right now. Everyone is in LA. I'm the only one here. What is he doing? He's smashing everything. Oh my God, Kat's gonna kill me. Exactly like a Lego man. What the heck? He's picking up a light stream. Oh my god, oh my god, I gotta hide. Oh my god, what is he doing to that thing? What the heck? Does it, what? Does it not like it or something? I don't know what's wrong with that. What is he looking for? Oh my god. What the heck? What the heck, man? We literally just bought that. It's just fragile. What is he gonna it says fragile on it. There's a beast. What the heck? Oh my god, that's a saw, guys. That's a saw. That's a saw, guys. Oh my god, he just picked up the saw. Where's he going with that thing?
is he taking? He took the eggs. Oh god, he took the eggs, guys. What the heck? I guess he's hungry or something. Lego pieces in the eggs. Why is he doing that? <laughs> smash the egg. He just smashed it. It's like we're, he's replacing all the eggs with Legos. He thinks the Legos are the eggs or something. Like, do eggs in their universe come in the shape of Legos? Like, what? He just put the Legos in the fridge. Why is he coming in? Whoa, whoa, whoa! What the heck, guys? He's chasing me! Oh my god, he's chasing me! I gotta hide, I gotta hide! Whoa, crap! So Lego Man is literally chasing me right now. Oh my god, Lego Man is right there. He's trying to get into Kyle's room, guys. What the hell is he doing? Oh my god, he really has him. Only thing I can think of is we have to call Stromedy. He's dealt with these things in the past. We gotta call Stromedy and we gotta ask him how do we deal with this? Because guys, it did not say that there was any reverse and we can't have a Lego man like this running around. I'm gonna call Stromedy right now. Okay, so guys, I just talked to Stromedy. He had to go because something was happening for him too. Something really weird is happening. But guys, he said that there is a potion of reversal downstairs a little bit left that I can use on the Lego man that he used to use in the past when these kinds of things would happen. So we're gonna go down there. The Lego man is still up here. We have to run really quickly and we have to get this potion of reversal and put it on the Lego man. So we're gonna go right now. Oh my God, the freaking balls everywhere. Holy crap, oh, oh crap guys. The Lego man's right there. Whoa. Oh, 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 what is he doing? Oh, what is he doing? Ah, oh, holy crap. Oh my God, guys. Okay. Oh, I don't know which one it is. Oh, is it this one? Kyle said that it was a clear one. So I think it's like this, but this looks like water. I don't know if this is it. Oh my God. Okay, okay. Well, we got to, hey, stay back, Lego man. I have the groupers, so push it. Stay back. Oh, oh my God, okay, we got it. Oh, we're just back to the small Lego man now. Look. Oh, the potion of reversal actually worked. Okay, uh, I can't have that happen again. I'm putting this Lego man right in the potion of reversal. I do not want that to happen again. We're gonna capsule him in. I cannot. That was absolutely insane, guys. Look at the mess in here. Holy crap. I'm not cleaning all this. He literally smashed like everything. He took popcorn and everything. He was sawing the table. Why was he sawing the table? Holy crap. Oh, I'm completely out of breath right now, guys. Okay, that was absolutely insane. If you guys enjoyed that video, smash that like button, hit that subscribe button, turn on those post notifications. But yeah, that was absolutely insane. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace! Yo, what is going on, everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are having an amazing day. Okay, guys, today I have something absolutely crazy planned for you guys. For any of you OG Stromedy fans out there, 
or maybe you also just came across the video, I don't know, you guys then may be familiar with the crazy ghost paper challenges that my brother used to do at 3 a.m. But if you're not, the ghost paper challenge is basically this crazy ritual where you can contact a spirit. Now, there are only a few things that you need to actually be able to do this. One is that you need a Sharpie, a piece of paper, a candle. This is one of the most important things because as I will explain later, the candle is what allows the spirit to really connect to you. And it is said that the more candles that you bring, the more the spirit can actually make like paranormal connections with you so and then you also need a door and cr most crucial thing is it has to be at 3 a.m because this is when it is said that the spirits are most present and active during the night also guys you only get three questions when you're doing this challenge per night so you have to make sure that the questions you're ready prepared for and you know what you're gonna ask and you got to make sure that they are good questions because like i said you only get three questions so yeah you guys will see the questions i actually ask in the video we are going to be doing this at the original door where this all started guys so you guys will see that it's only about like 10 p.m right now so we still got like five hours but yeah okay i'll catch up with you guys then bye all right guys so it is now 3 a.m i'll show you guys right here on the phone you guys can see right there that it is 3 a.m all right you guys can see right here that i got the pen and the paper and of course the candle that is necessary in order to make this ritual actually work uh you guys may know that the more candles you have the more stronger like the spirit is but uh for this video we're just doing one candle right now so yeah i got this set up right here now i know what you guys are thinking you guys are probably thinking that there was somebody in the washroom right now and they're going to be writing these questions down on the paper for me but just to show you guys that there's nobody in the washroom i am literally going to go in there and show you the washroom and i'm not going to cut the clip so you guys can pay attention right now to the clip i'm not going to cut the clip i'm going to show you that there's nobody in the washroom and then we are going to go ahead and get started with the first question so i'm going to go in here right now Use my phone so you guys can actually see everything. Look at this. There's literally nobody in the washroom. Look, there's literally nobody in here. Nobody in the shower. I'm gonna show you nobody in the shower. You see that, guys? Nobody above. Nobody in the toilet. Toilet. Look out here. There's nobody on the roof waiting to climb back in. There's nobody in the washroom, guys. So you guys, if you guys pay attention to that, I did not cut the clip at all whatsoever. So we are now gonna go ahead and we are gonna ask her, we're gonna do the chant and then we're gonna ask our first question. And I saw, of course, I did not cut the clip. Okay, so we're gonna do this. Spirits of the door, we welcome you. Make yourself present and come through. We have to do this three times, guys. So spirits of the door, we welcome you. Make yourself present and come through. Spirits of the door, we welcome you. Make yourself present and come through. Wow. I swear I just felt like a cold sensation over my soldier shoulder. That was so freaking weird. Okay, guys, so we said the chant three times, so it should work now. So we are gonna go down. We're gonna take this piece of we're gonna take the Sharpie and guys I, again like I did not cut the clip. There's no nothing going on here. So I'm gonna write my first question here. Of course, we wanna know if the spirit is actually there and if the ritual still works. So we're gonna ask if it's our... You... There. Oh my gosh, okay, so we're gonna leave the Sharpie there and we're gonna slide this under the door. Holy crap, guys, it's taking it right away. Lily took it right from my hand. No freaking way. Holy freaking crap, guys. This actually worked. No way. Oh. Guys, if you guys know me, I do not mess with paranormal stuff, guys. Like, I would never touch an Ouija board or anything like that, guys. So I'm totally freaking out right now. What the hell? You guys just saw that. I just took the paper right out of my hands right away. It was like it was there waiting for me. Nobody in here, guys. Again, you guys can see that I did not cut the clip at all. Guys, look at this. Like, this is so freaking creepy right now, guys. Look, this is the original door, as I showed you before. Oh my god, guys, look! It's, it's sliding back under. Oh my. Dude, you guys see anything down there? There's literally nobody in there. What the freaking heck? What is this? 
Yes! Oh, it's there. It's scribbled and stuff. Oh my freaking... Okay, guys, as I mentioned, we can only ask three questions. So that was one question we asked already. So we can ask two more questions, guys. I want to know if this is the same spirit that was doing the ghost paper challenges with Stromedy back in the day when he originally started this. So I'm going to ask it now if it's the same spirit that did these with Stromedy. So, are you the same Spirit that did these with Stromedy. There it is, right there, guys. Are you the same spirit that did these with Stromedy? We're gonna put it right there up to the door and see if it takes it. Gosh, guys, look, it's literally taking it again. Look, guys, I'm literally putting the camera under the door. My freaking gosh, guys. This is totally free. Guys, this is my, literally my washroom. This is my washroom. Like, does this mean the spirit has been, like, haunting my house or, or like, being around my house this entire time? Like, it's freaking crazy. Does this mean every time I go to the washroom, spirit is in there present? There's no freaking way. It's almost like I can hear it writing with the Sharpie. I swear, I can literally hear it. And there is nobody in there. Oh, this is so freaking creepy. We're waiting. Oh my gosh, there it is. Oh my gosh, guys, look. It's sliding back under. What? What does it say? Yes. What do you want? Oh my gosh, guys. Do you think it's getting pissed off? Like, oh my Guys, that means we only have one question left that we can ask. Oh, guys, I think I want to know, like, if this spirit can know what my brother Stromedy is doing right now. I'm gonna, okay, I'm gonna flip the paper over. All right, guys, so I just flipped over the paper. We are gonna go ahead now and ask that third question. We are gonna ask it where Stromedy is right now and what he is doing. All right, guys, so we're gonna write that right now. Remember, this is the last question now. So, where is... Stromedy right now and what is he doing? All right, guys, so there it is right there. Where is Stromedy right now and what is he doing? Guys, if this actually works, I will be absolutely ecstatic. Like, you guys know what this means? Like, if this thing can tell me where Stromedy is right now and what he's doing, I can literally, like, it, it must know basically everything then. Like, I could probably ask it, like, lottery numbers. Uh, so I'll probably do that in another video if this can actually tell me and it's right. Because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna FaceTime Stromedy right after this, depending on the answer it gives me, and see if he's actually doing what it says he's doing. So we're gonna put that under right now and see if it takes it. Oh my gosh, guys, look, look, it's literally taking it. You can see, can you guys see anything under there? I cannot see anything. I literally cannot see anything. I can't even see, like, a shadow with a candle or anything. Look at that, guys. Holy freaking crap. Guys, also, if you guys have any suggestions for questions that you want me to ask the ghost paper spirit, I'll drop those down below in the comments. But make sure they are good questions, guys, because remember, you only get three questions. Feel free to uh, even ask all three questions if you want to. But again, guys, just make sure they are really good questions because I do not want to waste the questions because, as I said, you only get three questions. But we are waiting for it to come out now. Guys, like, it's one thing to, like, watch these videos of, like, when my brother did them on his channel. But to actually do this, it's like... Really something else. Like you get this whole energy feel when you're doing this. It's, it's absolutely crazy. I would not suggest you guys do this ever at home. Like I am literally risking it all right now. Like it's like I said, I have never had any experience with this ghost paper. The difference was Kyle, he actually knew this spirit more and he, you guys know he does absolutely crazy things. So I'm literally taking a big game to the Godfrey squad right now. But we're still waiting right now. Let's see. Let's see. Oh my god guys, you look, it's coming out! Look! Oh my god, look at the writing! Holy! Okay, holy crap, guys. Looks like we got an answer. It says he is in LA, in his house, in the washroom. Okay, oh my gosh. Okay, so, but I'm gonna try to FaceTime him, but like, if he's in the washroom, what if he's in the shower or something? We're gonna still try and right now and call him to see if he picks up and is actually in the washroom. Oh my gosh, guys, I'm literally like, I'm starting to shake now because if this actually works, like, I'm gonna be totally freaking creeped out. Okay, okay. 
So guys, I got this con his contact right here. We are gonna go ahead and give him that call, see if he's actually in the washroom. Okay. Oh, guys, my hand is literally like shaking right now. You guys see that? Right, hopefully he picks up. Come on, come on, come on. I really wanna see if this is true. Because guys, if this is true, this is literally- Oh my gosh, there Yo, Kyle, Kyle. Right now, okay, right now I'm literally doing the 3 a.m. ghost paper challenge and I just got an answer. I asked it, what are you doing right now? And where are you? It said that you're in the LA house and in your washroom. Where are you right now? I'm in the washroom. Dude, no freaking way. No, that's a joke, you're joking. No, Kyle, I'm literally not joking. Look, look. Let me see. I can't show you my time right now, but I'll literally, yeah, I'll screenshot, okay. I'm gonna screenshot the phone, I'll send it to you after. Look, I literally have the setup here. It's the original door. You can see that? It's the original Wait. door. That yeah. you did them at. Look, I have the I have the question right here, so I'll show it to you. I'm trying to show the camera also right now, guys. Look, I have him on the phone right here. I'm showing Ethan, him. Don't play the ghost paper challenge, dude. You're gonna regret it. Why though? You'll see, dude. You, you can get haunted. Yeah, but you did them, and you never had a problem with it. Yeah, but that's why I have to leave, dude. It's because I played the ghost paper challenge, and I kept getting haunted at night. I kept hearing things. It totally ruined everything. The ghost paper challenge is not a joke. Dude, seriously, you're gonna do something you really regret. Like, you're actually able to contact spirits and bring them into the real world. No. Yeah. Is there anything I can do then? Like, other than... I mean, try to end the game as quickly as possible and never play again. Oh my god, okay guys, you heard you heard him right there. Okay, I gotta go. Alright, you guys heard it right there from him. Oh my god, okay. You was saying that I'm gonna get haunted apparently if I if I do these ghost paper challenges. But guys, he may have been exaggerating. Because personally, he never told me anything about this. Like I just saw the video as this, so if nothing happens tonight, I will do this again. And guys, remember, like I said, I want you guys to leave some questions down below and I'll pick out some of them if they are good and I'll ask those questions in upcoming videos. Because you guys freaking saw right there, like, it literally knew exactly where he was and what he was doing. Like, look, again, in LA, in his house, in the washroom. And you guys saw that firsthand. He was in the washroom. He literally did the 360 in his washroom. So if you like this video, go down below, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. It really means a lot, guys. Like I said, guys, it's a whole different feeling when you actually do this. And you're not sitting behind your screen all comfortable in your beds and watching it. Like, holy freaking crap. But yeah, okay guys, I gotta get to bed. I'm so tired. I literally stayed up just to film this video. I will catch you guys in the next video. Hope you guys have an absolutely great day.